what the letters sound like, how you put letters together to make the sounds, and how you put all those sounds together to read the words. And then writing a course writer's workshop, as Julie said, we have a mini lesson um, every day, and then through that mini lesson, um, we stress an objective, and then the children are given an opportunity to practice that objective. Hey, I'm Jennifer Randall. Um, we will also be doing guided reading, and this will take place during that literacy center time when your child's rotating through those literacy centers. We'll be meeting with small groups of readers, and these readers and these groups will be based on their levels of reading. Um, we'll be testing them on what level they are at, and it won't just be levels, it will also be on the strat strategies and skills that they are learning. So it's not just, um, they may be learning about different strategies that they need to learn, but not just the level that they're reading. Um, they will be in small groups, and usually they'll just be pulled based on those groups. And within that group, we'll introduce the text, we'll introduce what we want them to focus on during that specific time or that day. And then they'll be reading silently, and then we'll check to see how they're doing, practicing that strategy that we just taught them. We'll do a little bit of word work, looking for sight words or word family words that are in that specific text. And then coming back and checking and making sure that what they're reading is making sense to them. Okay, Reader's Workshop is another big part of our day. Again, we're stressing um, reading, not just reading the words, but um, understanding reading, retelling the story, reading strategies. How do I, um, how can I increase my vocabulary? How, can, how accurate can I be? How fluently do I read and how well can I understand what I'm reading? Um, how do I read to myself? How do I read to a partner? How do I listen to reading? Those are all things that we incorporate uh, during this time of our day. Um, right now, your child may have come home and told you that they're just um, reading to themselves, trying to build their stamina. And even though it sounds like such a simple thing to do, sometimes for a six-year-old to sit still at this time of the year for five minutes or seven minutes, to read and not get up, not ask to get out of the bathroom, not ask to get a tissue, <laughs> not say that their tummy hurt, do they need water, is a big deal. So when we make it to 10 minutes, it will be a huge celebration. And that's going to help us um, because during that time, as we progress in the year, that's the time that a lot of us will be um, engaging in guided reading groups and working with individual children on individual skills that they need to increase their reading. Um, it also is going to help them in the, in the future, if you want to think back, think down the road to third grade, when they take those magical EOGs, because they are going to have to build and have a lot of stamina in, in order to, to uh, make it through those EOGs. So we're beginning with the end in mind and working on that small bits at a time, but we are setting a goal and we are reaching it. Um, and again, our primary focus is just to um, help the children think um, that they are readers. We are a, communi a community of readers. We're working on their decoding skills and we're working um, as well as on their comprehension skills. And I'm good, Kelly, so I'm going to have you get up in just a second. But before I do, the people up back, there are about 10 chairs up here, or two chairs over here. If you want to work your way through the crowd uh, to get a seat, come on up. Uh, one of our uh, kids that we're going to be working with is balance and motion. So I'd like everyone to stand up. This is sort of what we do with our kids. We keep them up and down because to sit for you know, a long time is uh, tiring for them. So let's all balance on both feet, hands up. Pretty easy to balance. All right? Pick one foot up. Pick your foot up in front of you. Are you doing better than I am? <laughs> okay. Pick your other foot up behind you. Put your hands in front. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You can sit down. <laughs> Just like to get people moving around a little bit, wake you up a little bit. Um, one of the things you might see a uh, first grader come to my classroom is when we're using the science kits, um, the kids have to share. You know first graders, it's all about me, it's not about others, it's not about sharing with others, it's about me. So sometimes we have little um, differences of opinion, and a lot of times they come up to me and I'll just say, get over it. So if you, everyone, let's try it. Get over it, all right? So that's what I do with my kids. Let's, let's work it out and I'll put it the solution. Uh, we do have four kids. They're wonderful, wonderful kids. And it's all hands-on. The kids absolutely love them. 
here's an opportunity for parents to really be helpful for teachers. Because it's so hands-on, there's a lot of equipment that needs to be brought out for each lesson and put away, and we have to make sure that we put back um, anything, any materials that we've used, we have to replace them so that it's ready to go for the next teacher. Um, so if, if you would like to be a volunteer, ask your classroom teacher, I'm sure they'd love to have, have you in the classroom. We have pebble, sand, and silt, which is a wonderful kit. And when you come in, there is sand and rocks and gravel all over the rug and the tables, and the kids absolutely love it. We do a lot of experiments with, um, with water and the sand and shaking it all up. We have a new kit this year, measurement, that was in kindergarten before, so it would be our first time um, as first grade teachers using it. And the last kit is the balance of motion, which the students absolutely love. So we hope you're in here and enjoy it with us. Donna Campbell and I am going to talk about the field trips. We are going on three field trips this year. We've tweaked it a little bit since um, the past few years. If you've had, if you've got older students that have been through first grade, we've changed it up just a tiny bit. Um, this year we are, wanted to take the students to the theater. And so we are going to see Skippy John Jones over at the Carolina Theater in Durham. You just got the permission slip Friday and today, and um, some people Friday, some people today. And um, we need you to send in the lunch forms as soon as possible so we can get those to the cafeteria. And then I believe the date for the money is the 13th. Uh, no, the 24th, and you need to send in $13. Got a little jumbled up there. Um, so by September 24th, please send back the money and the sign permission slip front and back. Um, the thing that I do want to tell you is you are not invited to go with us to Carolina Theater. Um, this is a field trip that we will not be taking pair of volunteers on, but never you fear. The other two trips that we're going on, we we will not turn anyone away that is a registered volunteer. It is the more the merrier. We are going to, uh, usually in January, we go to the Museum of Natural Sciences in downtown. That's the one with the dinosaurs flying around. And, um, and we love having uh, lots of volunteers for that. Please just come yourself and don't bring your little ones with you because we want you to be totally focused on your student that you're volunteering for that day. So that's Donna, you know, just a little side note there with that. Um, because we usually send you off with one or two children to supervise and um, we give you tasks to do with them and we really do want you to be focused. Um, but we want you. Uh, then we are going out in May uh, to Prairie Ridge, and that is an amazing ecosystem site over off. If you've ever driven up Edwards Mill, kind of near the RBC Center, you can sort of see, excuse me, see it over um, off the road, and it is amazing, and we get to um, look at all kinds of bugs and tadpoles and and, and beaver holes and beaver trees and owl nests and I mean it's just like my favorite and it's wonderful and we welcome parent volunteers for that too. So um, those are our field trips. <laughs>